Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Praise the Most High, hallelujah. Praise the Most High, who sits far above the heavens, hallelujah. My name is Lily Ibiwari Irofakuma. Um, if you're new to this channel or you come across any of my videos, please kindly support this channel by subscribing. And don't forget to like, share, and comment. I want to hear your opinion. I want to, uh, I want us to learn together. If you have understanding about visions, dreams, and you want to share with the body of Christ, please don't forget to um, comment on the comment section. Um, God bless you. And again, I just want to appreciate the... The new people that subscribe, even though we're, we're many, to the glory of God, um, I want to say thank you to everyone that have have subscribed. It means so much to me. God bless you. Thank you so much. Um, um, this uh, today around three twenty, three twenty a.m. Um, I had a powerful, a very powerful um, dream. It was a dream because it was very unlike me. Um, I slept very early yesterday because, although even though I wasn't tired, because I have an habit of praying in the midnight because that's when I, um, I'm, it's more convenient for me to go into warfare, warfare prayer. So I slept and I slept very early. So I woke up around 3.20. 3.15 or 3.20 a.m. And I found out that I just came out from a very powerful, powerful dream. In this dream, I found myself, like most of the people that um, watch my videos, they know my story, the kind of life I used to live. I used to um, live a very dirty life. I used to, you know, live a very, very bad life. Um, the Lord brought me out. I used to say, oh, I'm the... Uh, Mary Magdalene of this generation. Don't get me wrong. It's just a joke. Okay um, But yeah, my story looks like the one of Mary Magdalene, you know, but the Lord in his infinite mercy grace found me and Jesus, you know um, Prevailed his blood prevailed and before I share this um, dream. I Want to pray a very short prayer. Heavenly Father. I just want to thank you for today. I give you praise I exalt your holy name because you alone are worthy, you alone are holy. We thank you for your mercy, for your faithfulness. King Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lamb of God, um, I just want to thank you for your blood that keep speaking for us. I want to thank you for your blood that keep prevailing, keep availing for your children. Lord, as I share this vision, as I share this dream you give to me, um, I pray that your people, you will open their understanding, you will remind them of your word because there's nothing new. Um, I thank you for your word in the book of Luke chapter 21 from verse 25 to 26. I exalt your holy name and Lord I pray that your Holy Spirit will incubate any, any child of God, anyone child of God, any, any anyone that will come across this video, I pray that under the sound of my voice, I pray Lord God Almighty that you will send your Holy Ghost to build a wall of fire around them, build a wall of fire around them, incubate their life, Holy Spirit, incubate their life and I pray in the name of Jesus, I take authority over every attack, every power from the pit of hell, from the marine kingdom that want to attack anyone that want to, to use my face for evil or anything, Lord, I come against them in the name of Jesus, I bring to naught, I render useless every authority from the pit of hell in the kingdom of darkness in the marine kingdom i come against them i bring to naught i render their power useless i render them null and void by the authority given to me i bind their power the, the, the book of matthew chapter 18 verse 18 said whatever i bind the shall be bind in heaven whatever i lose the shall be losing heaven i come against every power every attack that want to attack anyone on me because i share this powerful secret that you've revealed to me lord i come against them i bind their powers by the authority given to me in your word in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I plead the blood of Jesus over our lives over my life over the life of your children over the ones that will come across that are not strong in you that will come across this video I plead the precious blood of Jesus over our lives that blood that speaketh better thing than the blood of Abel. That blood that never loses its power. That blood that never runs dry. That blood, yes, the blood of the Lamb of God uh, that is speaking. Masseteyebo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, for answer prayer. In Jesus Christ's most precious name, 
I pray. And all the children of the Most High say, Amen. And a resounding, Amen, 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 Amen. We thank the Lord for everything He's revealing in these last days. We thank the Holy Spirit for doing His work perfectly. The Bible said in the last day, the whole, it said, he said when Jesus ascended to the heavens, uh, to the heaven, to, to, to go back to the Father, to his kingdom, to his throne, um, Jesus said he's not leaving us alone. That is, he will send forth a comforter, a comforter that must remind us all things. He will reveal things that we don't know of. And I just want to give God the praise for giving me the, the privilege, the opportunity. Uh, I find favor in his sight for him to show me this deep thing. In Jesus' name, amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, um, amen, amen. Um, um, all glory, all adoration be unto the Most High. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Um, around 320, if not mistaken, you know, 318 to 320 a.m., I woke up and I had this... Um, powerful, powerful dream the Lord gave me. Now, I went to bed early yesterday. It's very unlike me. I am used to praying at midnight. But, you know, so I went to sleep, even though I wasn't really that tired. So, I had this powerful dream the Lord showed me. In this dream, I found myself in um, a place where as if I was in my former life. You know, it was like my former life. I saw a lot of girls, you know, they were prostitutes. And I was <clears throat> standing among them. I'm going to say it exactly the way it is. So, um, I have uh, the time. Please listen to this video till the end. It might be a bit long. So, when I found myself under a bridge, I found myself under the bridge with some other girls, some other ladies. And as we were there, a lady came and she said, um, I think her face was a bit familiar. A older lady came and said, I should follow her somewhere that we should go and meet some people. And as I was going, I felt in my spirit, I said, uh, Where are we going? Where are we going to? I said, we're going to meet some people. So in the realm of the spirit, I came to understand that she was taking me to some wicked people. And I could see in the realm of the spirit, even if we are not up, because we have to pass some corners, you know, some place and walk down to the place. And she said, ah, let's go, let's go. We have to meet these people. And I said, I felt it and I stood and I said, um, I held back and I said, no, I am not going to go with you. I'm not coming with you to this place. And she said, no, just come, just come. And I said, no, I'm not coming. So I felt in the realm of the spirit that they were wicked people and they were men and she was going to take me to these people. Either they would kill me or they would do something bad to me. So I felt it and I said, no, I am not coming with you. So I, I, I rejected it and I went back. As I was going back, rain started falling. Heavy rain uh, started falling. The rain was falling. And in this vision, I was looking for somewhere to hide. Uh, somewhere, sorry, a shade. A shade to, to cover. Everybody was looking for a shade. So all of a sudden, I left that scene and I found myself in a hill, like a very high place, you know, a very, very high place. And I saw my friend uh, up there, you know, one of my friends. I saw her there in the hill place, very high. So like very, very high hill place where you could sit down. And when I got to that place, I noticed that they started shooting. Some people came and they were shooting. And I heard my friend said, wow, they killed six, either four or six girls. Four or six girls. And I'm like, thank God I already left that place before this shooting came. And they killed this girl. These girls died. And I'm like, wow. So if I was still there, I would have been dead too. So I'm like, oh God, thank you for not letting me die, you know. I said that and um, as we were in that scene, I left that scene and um, I went to... Um, another scene. Now in this scene, on the second scene, first, second, third scene, I left and I, there's this man, I know him in real life, long time ago when I was still in the world, I, uh, he's a white garment um, seer. We call them white garment church. The church is called CAC. It's called Christ, uh, Celestial Church of Christ. You know, they call them spiritual church. I have been to this man before because this man is a seer way back. This is long, really, really, really long time ago before I even became a born again. You know, long, long Long, long time ago so i saw this man in his church and this man in his church i when i got there i didn't enter the church i was outside and um, um 
because in real life there's a, 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 a case I am taking I have taken God to there's something that has been troubling me that you know that I've been taking to God I've been praying to God about it and it's as if this man knew this man knew and he was telling me I should come um, um, in the morning I should come now that let him do work for me so that everything is going to be okay let him do some spiritual work for me assignment so that uh, some spiritual uh, like ritual so that everything will be okay as if he knew that he has to do it before after before uh, it passed 9 a.m. and I'm like in the realm of the spirit I'm like why will I want to come to you to do any spiritual work when I was in the world I didn't even let you do although even if once uh, he has given me water to bath so I was doubting his power I said no 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 I'm not going to do it you know it was like come so but I saw some women you know some young women in, in his, in, it was as if it was a picture, it was real, it was mysterious, and it's as if these people were under him. They were like in bond, they were like, God forgive me, but they were like working for him, like they were in the church, you know, like, but you could tell they were wearing white garment, but the garment they were wearing, it wasn't heavenly garment, it was a church garment, you know, white, God, they were white as well, but it wasn't like a heavenly garment, you know, because I have seen to the glory of God, the Lord has showed me heavenly garment, what it looks like, you know, but this one is like their own, you know, church, you know, uniform, let me put it down, even if it's, it's color white, so in this vision, in this dream, I... There's this, when I know him in real life, there's this, his wife, I know one of his wife, um, his daughter, and at back then, this was back then, I saw that his daughter in the realm of the spirit, and this daughter was still small, young, and he was saying, see, because I used to like that particular of his daughter, so that girl, um, she was, I saw the girl, and this little girl was looking demonic, she was looking like a, like, like a, an evil spirit, this is how I saw it, and this little girl, um, came to me, I was outside the church, and I noticed that she was naked, all naked from head to toe, head to toe but she had manhood, um, a, a, a manhood, she had, she had a ma male organ and female organ in her, like a maphrobite, is that how you call it, so um, she, uh, but a manhood she had, the male organ she had, wasn't circumcised, it wasn't circumcised, and she had, you know, but she wasn't, she was looking really, really like a, an evil spirit, sorry. And this is how I saw her. So I was like, you know, it was a bit irritating. So I noticed that there's this man, they call Tibetan. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know his full name. He is a seer. He too is one of these, he's everywhere. He's very, very famous on the internet and in Nigeria mostly. This man, Tibetan, um, his church, as if it was beside this man, this other man I'm talking about, his church. And this Tibetan, I have seen him in the realm of the spirit several times. I have seen this Tibetan. If the Lord wants me to reveal, uh, expose, I will. Because I've seen this man several times in the realm of the Spirit. He's a CIA. Sometimes he, he, he said, he used to say, accurate prophecy. So it's like this man, this Tibetan, his church, you know, was close to this other celestial, uh, white garment spiritual church, as they call it, next to this man's church. And I noticed that in the realm of the Spirit, I saw it beside this Tibetan church, I saw a huge mermaid. The mermaid was there as if it was like in a... It, it, it was, because I heard this man's church, these two churches were close, just very close to the water, close to the riverside, close to the sea. It was like on the seaside, you know, like a house built on the seaside, you know. And um, beside this Tibetan church, I saw... People were shouting, come and see Mamed. People were shouting, come and they were scared. Real Mamed, real Mamed, real Mamed. And this Mamed, I could tell, when I looked through this Mamed, it was a female-like Mamed, but it was really, really huge, with a tail, um, the, but was reddish color. You know, but it was irritating, reddish, scary. You know, this, it was this scary, um, this, you know, bad reddish color, like, you know, a reddish kind of mermaid and this mermaid was angry like was shaking she was shaking she was like really really angry she was shaking she was you know this mermaid was shaking and um, in the realm of the spirit um, people were running because they were scared you know because it's something it's something unusual by the side of this Tibetan, this prophet uh, that is seeing prophecy everywhere that is famous, you know, is a seer. So, um, by his church. And he, he was there and somebody came to tell the other man that look at Mamed in, in, in close to this um, seer, this Tibetan church. So, as I was going, I, I left that scene. As, uh, the same scene as I was moving, I noticed that I looked at one place in the sea 
I found out that the, in the, I, I was still in the, in, 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 in the ground, you know, on the ground, on the earth. That when I looked through the water, I saw that there was a place that it was, the wave was something else. It was like a very troubled water. The wave was so high. This wave was so high, like it, it, the water was angry. The water was angry. Why that mermaid is displaying beside this church? And people were running, you know, like scared. Like some people want to see, some people want to take a picture. Wow, real mermaid, you know. Then um, I saw some young, fearless men, young, young men, young, young guys. They were fearless. They were on top of the water in a boat. And I don't know if they were fishermen. I don't know, but uh, they were close to this troubled water. And I noticed that... Um, there were mammoth, like I could tell, like I could remember vividly, like four mammoth came out. And it's as if this, some people went to provoke this mammoth, some people went to trouble them to come out from their hiding place. It was like that, you know, in the realm of the spirit. It was like they, they, they went to trouble them. So these mammoths, they were, they were angry and the water, the wave is as if, you know, you, I was in my own place and you're coming to disturb me. Something like that. So these mammoths were very angry. They were, some of them, they were trying to um, come out, you know, like now in real life, because I'm from the River Rhine area. Growing up, we used to travel only by sea. So in real life, in waters, there are some seas in the Atlantic, even in the Atlantic Oceans. These things happen. I don't know how to call it. If anybody come across this video, I know the name. English is not my language, so don't come for me. Don't say I didn't go to school and all that. Yeah. So I saw, you know, in the real life, you can see sometimes in some places, on the rare cases, you will see in the middle of a very, very deep sea, you will see a particular point in the middle that sand, you know, like a... A dry place will come up, but only with sand, you know, on that place, not big place, a small, narrow place, you will see it will float up, you know, and sometimes you go back to the same place, you will not see it again. So from a deep sea, yes, if anybody know, put it on the comment section, the name they call it. I don't know the name in English. So I saw something like that come up, come out of this deep sea, and some part of it, water, and it was as if some mermaid came up, they were doing their thing. And my friend... I saw my, the same friend I saw in that hill place, she told me that, uh, Ivy, that's what they call me, Ivy, um, stand for Ibiwari, though, oh, my middle, my late, my traditional name, so that, um, she said, I saw them, I saw four mermaid, I saw four, four, four mermaid uh, with tail, a uh, tail, and then they were not mermaid, she was saying, mermaid doesn't look nice, they don't look pretty, they don't look beautiful, as people describe them, as the world describe them, in the movies, they don't look uh, anything that their face look awful, scary, but they have tail, but human kind of face, but their face look awful, half fish, half human. I saw them, I saw that she was shaking and she was running. So in this scene, the water, because, and I personally, I now saw uh, some mermaid, but this mermaid I saw, they were like boxes. It was, it was, it was really mysterious. They were like box, boxes, but box, you know, there are fish that looks like box, like, like a whale, they looks like whale kind of not as massive as whale though. But they are ticks and it was so mysterious, I don't know how to explain it, but they were like they have life in them, but they are teeth, they are, have eyes, but they were angry, they were jumping back into the water, they were just jumping. I saw four of them looking awful and um that one that has tail and you know, red is the female, and uh, my friend told me she saw four of them and what I saw, I saw mammoth um how am I going to put it? There were many and they were really, um, they were troubled, kind of. As if they came out in a particular place and some people went to them to, to touch them or trouble them or something like that. So in this vision, as I was looking through, I was like, oh, because of the mystery, I saw the mermaids, you know, coming up and some people were like trying to throw them, catch them to throw them. They were struggling to go out of these people's arms and, and the people were trying to, these young boys were trying to, these people were trying to bring them up. They were trying to, f f I see some flying back, you know, sorry, jumping back in the water. I see some jumping back, they were just jumping back in the water and... What I saw was, uh, I was like, oh, where's my phone? Where's my phone? I need to take a picture of real mermaid. Oh, so mermaids are real. Mermaids are real. So mermaids are real. So I was trying to, uh, so mermaid exists. So I was trying to take a picture. I noticed that my picture wasn't with me. But in the realm of the spirit, I noticed that there was a connection with the water and the sky up there. There was a connection. It was like as if 
there was a connection that water, the sky was controlling the water, something like that. So I'm like, I saw really mysterious stuff and uh, which my mouth could not utter. Then I saw that the wave came. As this mermaid were being troubled, were, you know, trouble they were like some were jumping up somewhere or one was already in the land and beside this uh tibetan church where people were going and she didn't like it that people were seeing her this mermaid i think that was why she was trying to shake and she was really troubled i didn't see them chasing anybody but i i, I now saw that some men uh, um were trying to throw some of the mermaid up and i saw that um the wave came from that trouble sea, now I saw trouble sea. The one particular place, the wave was so high. It was as if the wave, the wave was so high. The water was turning, you know, this, how do you call it? This water was turning and the wave was coming up. The wave was coming. They stopped. It was as if, it, I don't really know how to explain it. I'm not, I don't really know how to explain this. So as this thing was going on, the water actually came to that part of the place we, where some people were. And it was coming with wave and and when the wave came up it's as if when the water goes back it would drag people back into the water so i was running i was really serious seriously running and i i woke up you know the water came up this the water from this trouble sea the wave came up and i ran and some other people were running and i got up from this uh, dream it was really powerful. I, it was really stronger than how, how I have explained. Um, anybody come across this video, you have the gift of um, interpretation. I'm not saying those who have the use, uh, I'm not talking about sorcerers. I'm not talking about the astrologers. I'm not talking about the psychic. I'm talking about those who have the gift of, of interpretation of vision and dream. I'm talking about those who are, are blessed in this area in the name of Jesus, in the Lord, the Holy Spirit has revealed to. Please make a comment what you, the Lord is speaking about this um, dream and uh, don't forget to study Luke chapter 21 verse 25 to 26. You see where the Lord is talking about the horrific things, the terrible things that will come upon the earth that men's heart will fail. You know, I want to let you know that nothing is new. Uh, the Lord has really showed me in the realm of the spirit that yes, my mate, exist but they are not as beautiful as people think i don't know the meaning of this vision to be honest um i really don't know um i don't know i must say um i didn't i don't know so god bless you if you come across this video you haven't given your life to jesus give your life to jesus christ those to those who have negative things to say god bless you i'm not interested i'm not going if i see any negative comment on my video i'm just going to ignore because the lord has told me to ignore i know some people come and say oh this one i don't care what you have to say i care about what the lord has to say and if you are not, if you have not repented or if you're repented if, if you're living in sin i pray that you repent jesus is coming back sooner than we think and um uh, again um for remember, for without holiness, for without righteousness, of which no man can see God, for it is appointed for a man to die once. Afterwards is judgment. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Repent, Jesus is coming. I'll see my next video if the Lord's willing. God bless you.